back here at your former high school. What does it mean for you to you know come back and back to the community? And also, can you talk a little bit about the camp? Uh, I mean, the camp's been going great. Yeah. Uh, the kids, they've loved it so far. They're all coming out here. They're competing. Sportsmanship has been great. Uh, and I think that the kids are getting better. Right. I think on a, on a day to day, I can honestly say that a lot of kids are breaking bad habits. I appreciate me coming out here and actually spilling some sweat with him. Uh, right. I came out here and worked out with him the first day. Did all the drills, all the drills with him in the uh, in the first portion of the camp. Uh, I didn't think it'd be fair for me to play in the five on fives. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah. I think I think it's just a lot of fun for them to interact with me because they can see that we have something in common. It's, it's just not I'm in the NBA and you guys are kids. It's you know you guys are kids, but you love the game. I've been here. I've been here before. Like you love the game, I love the game. So we have something in common. Like we're not that far apart. And going back with that, like you said, you just came back to your former high school. What's kind of your emotions when you walk back into this gym because you made it, you know? And all these other kids have the same dreams and aspirations as you. The emotion you get when you walk into this high school gym where it all started. Uh, it, may, it makes me proud uh, to say that I came from here and to say that I still play basketball uh, the way I was taught. Uh, so now I know that the way, the way I feel the way I, the way I was brought up on basketball is the right way to do it because I was brought up to win and not to not to focus on anything else. Okay. And to spread that culture now, uh, it's been great for me and it's been successful, so I'm happy. Well, going with that, who do you kind of credit most for your basketball success at the early age and up to this point? Uh, just my father. Okay. Kind of just got you in the gym and everything, yeah. so that's good. And then, obviously, you played at Georgia Tech. Can you talk about what that was like and how that prepared you for the NBA? Uh, playing at Georgia Tech was great for me because uh, I just learned to use my size at the guard position in the right way. I think a lot of times in high school, being a big guard, I strayed away from you know taking advantage of a lot of things just because I was so used to being short and I had a growth spurt. So um, I say getting to college, I just learned how to play as a quote unquote big guard. Obviously a member of the New York Knicks, can you kind of talk about last season and some of your expectations for the following season? I think we had a good year. Uh, it was definitely a failure at the end, though, because we didn't want to settle for anything less than uh, being in the Eastern Conference Finals uh, with Miami. So, uh, you know, I feel like we fell short, but I feel like with the season we had, we have a lot to build on. You know, I'm excited for next year, and I know that the rest of the guys are. So uh, I'm looking forward to it. All right, Derek Sloan, Amon Shumpert, we appreciate it, man.